That was lucky. Flicked onto the camera at the right time, and uh, the share could see she had a water bag, and then she turned around, and the lamb was half out, still in the in the skin, and um, I literally just grabbed my coat. I <laughs> didn't even get my leggings on. <laughs> Threw it on my wellies, and ran. And the, the skin was still, it was a really thick skin, it was still over its face and everything, but thankfully it had enough, um, like, space to breathe. It wasn't, like, tight over his nose, so it wasn't suffocating him, but... I've never moved so quick in my life. <laughs> you can see the skin there, where I've literally just grabbed it and thrown it. Now to have two and three lasts. So I had another busy night last night. It was up. What felt like every hour here. Um, so we're quite full. Back row's pretty much all full. Um, and then got some of these pens here. We filled up buckets of water last night before we came home. Um, just because obviously those pens don't have water. So it was saved me doing it at whatever hour in the morning, um, which we filled quite a lot of them actually. But it's good, we're getting the numbers down. I knew it was going to be pretty busy. Um, and then I'm hoping to get the main lot inside, first colours of the main lot inside, and get them settled before they are due. That's the plan. But I need to ship out yows and lambs, but the weather is shocking. It was meant to be getting warmer this week and staying dry. Warmer but slightly cloudier. And it's rain. It's rained all night. It's like a drizzle at the moment. Great. Every time at the moment when you go away and come back or you go into the camera again, there's something happening, something happened. So I've got a yow here, you can just see. She's had twins. So I'm going to put her in a pen and then I've got a yow in that pen just there with the water off. So keep an eye on them, feed all the pens again, check all the lambs. I have 10 lambs to lift to take the pet's pen off of triplets and a set of quads. 10 in one morning. So I'm just going to go get this yow that's lambed out here and put her in the pen over here. Like that. So I've actually just realised that she has a triplet mark. So she still hasn't actually had her third one. So um, I'm just going to go grab it from her just now and take it out and pop her in a pen with her three lambs. So I've got one back foot pointing out the way and the other one's still doubled over. So I'm just going to.
though the weather's so poor and miserable, lambs are still having fun outside. I found a new use for my wheelbarrow too. So after I've fed all the pens, I then empty some sawdust into it and then go along and bed the pens that need it. So I have had a couple of people ask why I use sawdust instead of straw. Um, and very simply, I put straw down first in the pens to create like a base. And then I move on to sawdust because that way, the, because we don't muck out the pens, the muck doesn't build up too high and therefore the gates get jammed in the muck or whatever. So it'll give them a good base of straw to start and then uh, move on to sawdust thereafter. So there's just a handful of Earlys left in here and then Quite a lot of this is main batch that were thin um, or cripple that I took in. <coughs> um, well, I picked them out earlier and put them in here. So yeah, we have, in the last two days, we have wiped out a lot of the earlies, which has been good. As you can see, we have shifted the yows and some of the younger lambs that haven't gone outside that were running loose in these pens. We've shifted them up to the shed up the hill. They've gone up the hill to where the texels were. Texels are now outside permanently as they're a good bit older now, so they should be fine. And the, I've moved 12 of the owls with young lambs up to that shed and put some more outside. So there must be, oh, like 80 odd outside with lambs. Um, I mean, the weather is pretty shocking, but they're strong, they're robust. They're getting a tiny wee fresh picking of grass. Um, they're obviously getting concentrate feed still as well. And I'm just keeping an eye on them, checking them two or three times a day just to keep on top of them, make sure the lambs are okay. They do have some shelter, so it's not quite so bad. Um, but yeah, the weather is just dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. We just need heat and it's cold and it's raining. <sighs> That's the problem, you can't predict what the weather's going to be when you put the tops in, but hey hope. So shed is now nearly all clear. We just have one pen down the bottom there of the some earlies, some main batch. So Davy has just gone to the field to gather in the first two colours of the main batch. We're going to get them in here and um, spread them out. There's going to be plenty of space for them. Spread them out and hopefully we get them in, get them settled, get them onto the new ration before anyone goes down with twin lamb. I mean, we are gonna get it, it's obvious, but I'm hoping that we can keep it to as little as possible cases. Um, they will be getting their ration out the front, same as the earlies were on, lifeline buckets. I'm also considering putting just some liquid molasses in the pens for the first few days, just so they're not a total shock to them. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what to do this year, as I say, is a trial year. So, you know, we might do things differently next year, but we just have to see what happens um, and ride the wave as it comes, as they say.
just like that, we're full again. Oh dear. I've had to experience this before where you have your shed empty and it's refilled. And it's got to get refilled again after this. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> you think you're getting somewhere and then boom, they appear again. Absolutely monstrous sets of three. So we've got that one, and we've got this one. Bursting with milk, big strong lambs. Up in minutes. Got the texels down, they're getting a wee location shift. So, just gonna take them across the road. Quite pleased with how they're looking. So this is the second two colours of the main lambing batch. I'm taking them across to that field over there where the first two colours have been. So, I'm just taking them there over. There now, lie down, and then I'll let the yow lambs out onto the rough bit of ground that these hoofs were on. Lie down, as they finish the meat now. Lie down. Just take them over, and they've started on cake as well, so I'll give them their cake across there. Lie down. That's it for this one. Thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and we'll see you for the next one.